Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this cute scarf. It's so easy to make and it's useful. It looks lovely with this little daisy. It's not so little, of course. <laughs> uh, and I use salmon nuts for here. And I think you're going to love it. <laughs> Uh, for this one, I used uh, one as choice from Lime Brand Yarns. Uh, I used two balls. Uh, that's a category four medium yarn. It commands a six millimeter hook. I used 5.5 and six millimeter hooks together. 5.5 for here this part and six for the rest for the uh, daisy too and um, one of them is 100 grams 170 yards 156 meters uh, and for the daisy i use this yarn it's ran by tanya um, I think that's a category 5 yarn, yes, bulky yarn. I use uh, these two together, but I use two strands of yarn from this one for only daisy. I made a, a video about the daisy before, you can find it here. And when I'm making it, I'm making puff stitch and taking uh, the... Uh, <laughs> collecting the loops for 10 times when you watch the video you can you're gonna understand this and for here I use two strands together and I collect the loops for nine times if you want you can make it for um, 10 or maybe eight times too because uh, when you use two strands together it's become fluffy uh, more fluffier than here so um, and you need so less yarn from the white and a bulk yarn uh, will look good and that's all i hope you like this tutorial uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel let's start Start with a slip knot and then make 18 chains. Yarn over, skip 3 chains, insert into this fold. Grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2. And that's a double crochet. I'm gonna keep making double crochets. That's the last one. In the end, you will have. 16 double crochets count these three chains as a double crochet two chain three turn that's my first double crochet again starting from the second stitch make double crochets you will have 16 again if you um uh, afraid about uh, skipping some stitches because you are always asking uh this kind of questions i started with 16 but uh, when i uh, keep going uh, i realized that i have 14 stitches maybe um that uh, that's because you are skipping stitches uh, 
uh, especially first and last stitch. You can put a stitch marker here. Okay, that's our first stitch. And you can put a stitch marker here into this third chain with this way uh, you will not have any problem in the end Okay, let me count four, six, eight, ten, uh, twelve, uh, fourteen, fifteen, and that's sixteen. Chain three, turn and make a double crochet here. Put a stitch marker in this third chain and keep repeating. Uh, put your last stitch here. Uh, make totally 16 rows. I made two. Uh, I will make 14 more and see when I complete it. I finished 16 rows. Now I'm gonna join these two sides together. Insert from this chain, grab the loop, make a chain, insert same place and insert this first stitch, make a single crochet, insert into the next stitch Make a single crochet. Single crochet. And join them. You will make 16 single crochets totally. You can hide this tail while you are making your single crochets. And that's the last one you will insert into the chain from the back. Let me count. Yes, it's 16. Now I will change the hook because we will work rip stitch. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little loose. If you want, you can use 6.5 too. I'm gonna use 6. Chain 3. Turn and into this first stitch make one more double crochet. Into the next stitch, make only one double crochet. We are making some increases. Into the next, put two double crochets. Into the next, put one double crochet. Two. One. Two. one and keep going make two for the last time and only one now you must have 24 uh, stitches 2, 4, 6, 
8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Chain 2. Count these two chain as a half double crochet. Starting from here, we are going to make back post and front post double crochets. And um, for the first stitch and last stitch, we will make half double crochets. So skip this first one. Around this second stitch, I'm going to make a front post double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook between this first and second stitch. And go out uh, from here, grab the yarn, make a double crochet. For the next, we will make a back post, yarn over, insert your hook from back to front, and around the post, give it back again, grab the yarn, one, two, a front post. A back post, a front post, a back post, repeat this till the end of the row, that's the last one, I will make a back post, and for here Insert into the third chain and make a half double crochet. Grab the yarn, pull through together. Chain two, turn. And we will start with the same way. We are going to start with a front post and finish with a back post each time. And now you can see that's a back post. I'm going to make a back post double crochet and front post, back post, front post, back post and I'm gonna repeat this for how many rows? Uh, I, I don't know how many rows but I can make it for 60 centimeters long I think it's uh, 24 inch long. It's a little up to you. Um, actually, just wrap it around your uh, neck and you can find the measurements you need. Don't uh, measure here. Start to measure from here. That's the Last one, back post double crochet and into this second chain I'm going to make a half double crochet, chain two, turn and make it as I told you, uh, I see you when I complete it. I made it 60 centimeters long, as I told you before, measure it from here. Now. Uh, we are almost finished. Now chain one turn. Into this first stitch make a single crochet. Then we will make Solomon knots. How to make it? Just lose your loop. Put your finger between this uh, loop and strand. Grab the yarn, pull it, insert your hook between this loop and yarn, grab the yarn, make a single crochet and that's a Solomon knot. Make one more. Try to make them equal.
and I will make 40 uh, salmon knots. Just keep repeating. Make 40. I made 40. Now, into this next stitch, insert, make a single crochet. Then start again. One, two, three, four, and make 40. Into the next stitch, make a single crochet. Make 40, a single crochet. We will repeat this till we reach here. See you there. I made the last one and join with a single crochet into this last stitch. You can make one more chain and that's the end of the, my second pole. And we're gonna uh, put it inside this uh, um, uh, I could find tube. I think it's tube. And and that's all. I'm gonna hide the yarn. Now I'm gonna put this daisy here. I made another video about the daisy. You can find it on my channel. Just look here. And we are gonna attach it here. That's my tails. I'm gonna use them. First I can use a hook Check it first if it's okay. I'm gonna change it. Then make a knot. And that's all. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Since crochet is my Instagram address and it's also my Pinterest website. 
um, I see Ravelry. You can find me anywhere you want. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.